Hey everyone, let's talk about tonsil stones. So what are tonsil stones? Well, these are compacted masses that actually form in the crypts and crevices of your tonsils. And they're actually quite common. Many people don't even know that they have them. Now, what are tonsil stones made out of? Well, they are made out of a combination of bacteria from your mouth and broken down food that you've ate that has calcified along with other substances. And these substances over time get trapped in these crypts and crevices and will slowly grow. How do you know if you have tonsil stones? What are the signs and symptoms? Well, one of the easiest ways to know is go in front of a mirror, open your mouth and shine a light in your mouth, flex your throat like you're about to cough or gag and look at your tonsils. And what you're looking for are these white yellowish spots within the tonsil tissue. Now, some subtle signs and symptoms that you may have tonsil stones include halitosis, which is a fancy term for bad breath. In addition, you may have a bad taste in your mouth all the time. It just feels like it's in the back of your throat. Or when you go to swallow, it may feel like you have something stuck in your throat. And this is particularly true if you have a large tonsil stone. In addition, you may have a persistent cough that just doesn't go away. So sometimes whenever you cough, parts of that stone can actually break off. So whenever you cough, you may feel like something's in your mouth and you go to look and you see this white yellowish substance. Now over time, as I pointed out earlier, these stones can grow, which leads to a complication of tonsil stones. Usually they're harmless, but if they do become impacted within those tonsil crypts, it could lead to infection. And some signs of an infection could include that you have a swollen lip node underneath your chin in this area right here, or you could notice that back in your tonsil area, it's very red and swollen and it hurts whenever you swallow. A lot of times it's localized to one side because the tonsil stone is on that particular side, but sometimes you could have it on both if you have infected tonsil stones on both sides. And sometimes this can also progress to an earache. So what is the treatment for tonsil stones? Well, one of the best treatments is through prevention. And one way you can prevent tonsil stones is through good oral hygiene. By practicing good oral hygiene, you will limit the amount of bacteria in your mouth. So you want to make sure that you are brushing your teeth regularly, flossing, and using mouthwash. Another step you can take is limiting foods that promote the formation of those stones. So you want to limit foods like soda, the carbonated drinks, along with dairy or calcium rich foods. Also avoiding alcohol and smoking can help as well and keeping your mouth as moist as possible. However, let's say that you have a tonsil stone in there. You're or beyond the prevention part, what can you do? Well, a lot of times it's generally best just to leave the stone in there because many times they will fall out on their own through coughing or swallowing. However, if you have a rather large stone that just isn't coming out, you wanna consult with your doctor to help you decide on what measures you should take in removing the stone. Now, it is possible in some situations that you can attempt to remove the stone yourself. And if you choose to do this, you want to follow some of these basic tips. The very first thing you wanna do is that you wanna walk wash your hands and you want to reduce the amount of germs in your mouth and you can do this through gargling before you actually attempt to remove the stone and when you gargle you can use a solution of peroxide again it's two parts water one part peroxide so you're diluting the peroxide gargle and then do not swallow the peroxide, but spit it out. Then take a clean cotton swab, as you can see here, and apply pressure to the side of the crib where you've seen the tonsil stone. Whenever you apply pressure, it should pop out just like this. Once the tonsil stone is out, be sure to spit it out. And then after this, you'll want to gargle again. And this is a really important step because you just went in there with a cotton swab and you could potentially cause micro tears in that soft, delicate tissue of your tonsils. Micro tears can become infected and sores can develop. Another way to remove or manage tonsil stones is through the usage of a water pick or water flosser that ejects water and it could help hopefully remove the tonsil stone from your throat. Now let's say that you have a reoccurrent chronic problem with these tonsil stones where you're getting infections all the time. Well, you wanna consult with your doctor about potentially a tonsillectomy where they can remove your tonsils. However, in many cases of tonsil stones, they can be managed with prevention and just attempting to remove them yourself. Okay, so that wraps up this video on tonsil stones. And if you'd like to watch some more videos, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.